Good work, I'll have to train to Arrow Lamar. Yeah, you will. That's a save for Pikachu. Pikachu. Do you want to fight Bombshu? Yes. Boss music. Bombshu attacks. Alright. Once again, with the everything, you're weak to Earth. But we've already established that even the weakness doesn't make it more powerful than this. Although, it seems like it should, because like it's, if I'm not mistaken, it would be 50% more, which is like 105, which would be slightly stronger than Fire Spin. But I don't actually know if that's how the math works. I honestly don't. Yeah, whatever. We'll use Earthquake just to see something different. How about that? How about that's the reason why we do it? Uh, what's up? You, well, you, rain, dance. This is such a gross color for a Pikachu. I'm kind of against it. <laughs> but in my defense, most of the palettes, the swaps you can choose for Pikachu in RPG Maker are not very good in general. Like, I think it just does a hue shift on the sprite itself. And there were quite a few iterations to go through, but it just... Uh, Pikachu's coloration just doesn't work with it for whatever reason. It's just gross. It's ugly. This green Pikachu is just... Bleh. It's not very cuddly looking, if you ask me. Eli's blind, but that's okay. You don't need to see to use these skills. Although in the future, I think uh, it actually is going to affect them. It's not resistant to lightning. Because, like, uh, blind affects your physical attack, and whether a skill is physical or special depends on, like, how you flag it. At least I'm pretty sure. So, uh, skills that are f flagged physically might be affected by blind in the future. I don't actually know for sure. I guess I'll find out whenever I play the game later and test the new version. It's not ready for testing yet. And it's kind of moot whether it does or not, because it's not like I'm going to change the status effect. So it'll just be one more thing to keep in mind. Maybe it'll make battles more interesting. Although it's not like blind is a very prominent status condition. I think Pikachu might be the only thing that can inflict it. Or rather, Raichu, which it inherited the move from. Point is, it doesn't come up very often. Blind just isn't that common. Oh, How much do I have? 12? I can still hit you with 12 worth of Mud Slap. Take a Mud Slap. Fighting electricity with electricity. Uh oh, Ferris is whacked. That stinks. Alright, well, I'll have Lilith fix it, I guess. That's what we bought these revives for. And they're not very expensive. Although, the one thing you can't grind in this yard is money, so. It, any expenses we incur here are basically on us. Uh. We're, like, in trouble here. Can we get this done with quickly, please? How much more you got, Bombchu? Named after the explosive item in, uh, Legend of Zelda. We're seriously dying. Please stop. <laughs> it's gotta be close, right? This fight's this fight been going on way too long. There, we gnawed it to death. Phew. It work. I'll have to train Bombchu more. I gotta train myself more. This is... Freaking pathetic. I mean, yeah, we did that right after the De Rolle fight, and it did nothing to preserve my health in between time, but... Sheesh. I'm just gonna get over here. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. But yeah, these fights will be more interesting and have, like, more tangible rewards in the future than just... Uh, experience. They still won't be worth any money, because it occurred to me that it's a really easy way to grind money if you can just fight infinite mini-bosses. But whatever. Dig Dug! I'm gonna fight Dig Dug. I mean his preferences. And I'll go normal again. This tiny little... Uh, fire Spin... Convert one... Zap... Rain... Dance. Hmm... Oh, that's still kind of a lot of damage, actually. Fire spin, use the resistance up. Call it zap. 
got these all ready to go. And we're bringing in 55 mine. <laughs> so love the fleet to Earth, so it's understandable she would take that much damage from it, even after. Oh, oh. Slash. Got that. I think I did actually, like... What did he inherit Slash from? Because... Oh wait, no, don't worry I was in this game. I was thinking of Sandshrew. I was like, how did he get that if Sandshrew's not with me? But no, I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking of Sandshrew and Sand Slash. Don't let me... Bleh. Are you guys done with your mind yet? Are you good? Alright, I think we're good on the mines. We can just start slamming them. This guy's actually... Oh, I shouldn't be using Thunderbolt. He's actually resistant to that. I'm stupid. I'm like not using strategy correctly. It took 136 for that. I'm gonna test it against Thunderbolt just to see. Or maybe I'll just make a mental note and decide that it's doing more damage after all. Yeah, I'll, whenever I rewatch this footage later, I'll check the damage numbers and be like, was it working or not? In the meantime, I'm perfectly content to believe that it being resistant to lightning and weak to ground or grass is going to make that damage worthwhile. And in the meantime, I need to heal Ferris, because he's dying! Stop dying, Ferris! God! Why are you so bad? Earthquake! Okay, uh, back to spinning the flames. Yeah, like, if the, if it works percentage-based like I think it does, it would boost... It would boost Solar Beam to 90 power, where uh, Thunder would be falling to 75, I want to say. Eli, fix everyone. There we go. Save the game. Who else are we going to fight? we still got to do Kingpin, Resbit, and Orion. Uh, let's fight Resbit. Let's put on the mini boss music again. This guy can actually hit everybody, so he's kind of a, a thing. And he's also weak to Earth, so let's do that. Uh, lowers resistance even further. Buzz out. Rain dance. So many rain dances. So many buzz apps. There he goes. He's off the races already. Uh, uh, for Respite in the new version, since Magneton has the exact same moves but stronger of uh, Magmite, I just gave him the Magneton versions of the moves, for starters, and uh, I'm gonna have him uh, call in a couple backup Magnemites, so he's kind of like a Magneton, but not really. <laughs> It's more like three Magnemites stuck together that haven't formally uh, decided they're a Magneton. <laughs> that's how that's gonna be. There will be many explosions. Very many explosions. Alright, I guess I should mention about self-destruct. I could have said this a lot sooner, but it only occurred to me to say it now. Thing is, like, there's no way to make moves in, or, like, special attacks in this game that hurt the user. Which is why you have moves that would normally have killed the user, like self-destruct, that you could just use for free. <laughs> it just costs you MP like it normally would. Oh, I didn't need to use that range. Yeah, RPG Maker has no way of conveying to the game that you want the skill you're using to hurt the person who used it, so... I would have to do a custom battle system for that to ever succeed. And someday I probably will. But not right now. Certainly not right now. Uh, we need to, like, kill this guy. Hey, Resmit, you should die. You should die because you're a floating eyeball. I actually quite like Magnemite. I think it's a neat design. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense as, a, like, an animal. <laughs> or however you want to classify that thing. But it's cool. Yeah, I think it's got some interesting bits. Like, a lot better than Voltorb. Which is just... Ghetto Magnemite. <laughs> Uh, I got like 10 points left. I'm gonna mud slap you. And, uh, I should probably, like, heal you. Actually, no, I should, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I should heal Eli. 
that's the smart thing to do with the very last bit of his MP. And maybe Ferris could, like, recover. Does he want to use the Psychic Recover or the Water Recover? They're the same. They have the same power. Yeah, blow them up. Uh, I'm going to save that last bit of MP for a heal. Oh, no. Keep my metronome. Keep metronome. You know, I'm pretty sure this... That, or that Resbit actually does have two versions of Thunder Wave and two versions of Self-Destruct for his Magnemite and Magneton moves. You just can't really tell. There's, there's no real honest way to tell. Except by like, paying attention to the damage numbers, I guess. And also, whenever you use Metronome, the animation will be a little different whether it is the weaker or stronger version. We got through it! Goodbye, Resbit. Work, I'll train Resbit. Yeah, that's what you always say, Tom. That's what you always say. I'm gonna hit, or hit the storm stone again. Hit the restore stone again, is what I was trying to say. It was a bit of a hike, isn't it? Uh, there's still three more fights, because actually we are allowed to fight Splinter as well. Splinter has undergone the most dramatic uh, stat raising of all. Because she had the original problem, and Reika wasn't cutting her any slack. And yeah, even though Splinter is named after, like, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tutor Splinter, she's still a girl. Because I said so! I think Kingpin? Uh, yeah, let's put on the challenge music for Kingpin. <clears throat> this is the music we heard last time we fought him, too. Uh, he is not weak to either of these. He's weak to Psychic. That's right. Shut up, watch. Doing my best. Alright, hold on. He'll be kind of weak to everything after this, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get buzz at you and, like, get your rain dance going. Yeah. Dick, 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 dick. Blow him up. Horn reel. Uh, conversion. Oh, wait, you already did that. You want to conversion yourself now. Buzz at. Rain dance. He just becomes like completely untouchable. Especially if I use the scrunch. I'm not gonna. Alright, you need to keep that up so you can keep that up. I think Ferris might be not raising his mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Ferris is done raising mind, but the rest might still have more. Uh, my drum. Don't wanna do that. I want a Thunderbolt. Well, you. Rain Bands. Like one more time. Did I say rain dance? I said I meant say dance. I meant dance. Here we go. Everybody's mind is maxed yet again. Fire spin, magic gnome, thunderbolt, meditate. That's the other nice thing about the rain dance strategy. Meditate and rain dance are just like right next to each other. Because that's how the lists worked out. Of course, that dynamic will change a bit in the new version because the Fat T is getting all the water and ice skills. So he'll be the one doing all the rain dancing. Well, that'd be something. And the conversions can be on whoever you want to have them. And the only way to get conversions on more than one person will be to do New Game Plus and to get another copy of the uh, Scrolls of Poor. I decided to turn the books into scrolls. Like, the only reason I went with books in the first place was because, like, that's what they're listed as in the actual RM2K database. Like, they're just called books for whatever reason. But the, the, the idea behind them is they are items that teach a skill. And I decided that scrolls make more sense than books because you can ostensibly read a book as many times as you want. But a scroll, you at least have like the excuse of, well, it crumpled into dust, and that's why you can't use it more than once. You know? That makes sense. That makes sense. I save this game. I'm fight this pouring on. I'm gonna fight to be. Okay, any music preferences? Sadly, you cannot fight him to the Mario music. Uh. I'm going to save the boss for Rattata for a reason. That I will disclose when we get to fighting Rattata. Uh, he is weak to this, I want to say. Naturally, that's his normal weakness. Um, Yeah. So we want... Rain dance. We haven't forgotten our principles. But gosh, we sure have been fighting these things for a while. We're like 15 minutes in here. We'll get through them, though. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, Lucy. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
Oh, not that one. You. And you. Well, I still picked Eli. Got him, though. Since Porygon doesn't have any evolutions in this generation, or let alone this, this card set, uh, I gave him all the same moves that the um, special Porygons had previously. So the, all the moves that we saw the computer Porygons using, this Porygon has. In the new version, it's going to be even wilder, because what I'm going to have him do is he's going to lead with the conversion that raises his resistances, like the other ones did, and then he's going to use a conversion, too, that hits the entire party, so they all become susceptible to his attacks. That's how I decided that would work. Alright, we're done with our mines. We can lay into him. Well, what am I doing? Blah. Uh, I guess I want to use the Thunderbolt. You know, I'm pretty sure he's resistant to that naturally, so we want to go with water instead this time. Whoop, whoop. Metronome threw me off. I just like to target with Metronome. Auto targets. Which is a blessing and a curse, I guess. Actually, no, it's just a curse. Being able, to, being unable to choose your target is not a good thing ever. I feel like choice is important when it comes to selecting targets. What did he try to do there? He, like, flashed a color. I didn't pay attention to what the battle message said. I don't know what Porygon tried to do. Wah! Well, he's attacking twice. He's going for it. Eli's out of MP. We'll just have to tough it out. I'm not using another all magic. Okay, good, he's dead. 852 experience. Half straight. Oh, he does play the song for your victory, though. Maybe I'll have him play it as his battle theme. <laughs> That'll help add some spice to it, right? Just battle Porygon to the Mario theme. Oh, yeah. Okay, heal, and then we're gonna fight Splinter, and then we're probably gonna be out of time, but that's okay. We'll pro or surely finish the game next time, and probably start my victory lap in classic mode. Because I am gonna do one, yes. I'm just gonna, like, run from all the fights and only fight the necessary things, because we literally won't need any experience. It's New Game Plus. Whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Tom's been training that really hard. He's looking for challengers now. Oh, do you want to fight Splinter? No. Phew. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, you don't be too rough with her. Boss. Why the boss theme for Splinter? Because Splinter is the only other monster in the Star Pitchy that actually has Area 8 boss stats. It has the uh, the same stat con er, conversion rate that uh, the final boss would. So yeah, Splinter is actually the toughest thing in this yard. Um, and we can expect some serious hits out of this thing. <laughs> so, so we kind of gotta take it extra serious. I'm probably gonna want to boost my defenses. Actually, yeah, let me get on that. I'm gonna, like, pay close attention while I'm doing this. So I don't waste my turns. But it's got his I didn't have to do that, Fatty. It doesn't have any special attacks that are elemental. Yeah, see, that's a lot of damage. Alright, so you do that. Uh, scrunch. Keep the buzz app going. 137. So, Fatty succeeded on his one. I don't know if we need any of the hardens. Scrunch. Okay, Ferris doesn't need that anymore. Fatty's got all his defense. I don't think Eli's defense is gonna get higher than that. Uh, he can get back to fire spinning. Oh, wait. No, it's weak to... It's weak to Earth. We should use the Earth thing. Uh, I think Fatty's all good on his. You need to stiffen. Well, you need to scrunch. Or... No, not that. Well, I mean, I guess Barrier would be useful, too. You know what? Let's do it. It's a raise his evasiveness. It's like 159 gains. Huh, huh. I didn't pay attention to whether she succeeded on that stiffen. It failed. And now I can't tell if she just didn't get her defense boost, or what. I'm gonna heal her. Uh, I keep metronoming, I keep stiffening. I think your barrier is as high as it's gonna go. Bear with Raw. You failed. Stiffen failed. Okay. You keep trying for now. Uh, keep Fatty up. 
different. If not. Okay, he got it. She got it. She's probably all good. I'm gonna have Ferris do his one more time. Okay, uh... Oh, wait, Nana. Earthquake. You, metronome. You wanna... No, you're good. Ferris needs to do his one more time. That's right. <laughs> For an extra four points. That's all he needed. That's all he could get. Alright, now we should be good to take on Splinter. As long as we keep ourselves healthy. Uh, I don't want to use that. It's resistant to it, so... Water. Blap. Get it. Get the rat. Destroy it. It still did 100 damage with its basic attack. God, we don't want to see its crits, man. A double crit from a boss in this game is basically going to kill anybody. <laughs> Uh, time to heal up. Chomp. Live, everyone, live. Okay. Back to the quake. Metronome. And that. And this. I'm gonna take you out, Splinter. We're going into extra innings. I can see I'm over on my time limit. But I kind of expected it, because like I said, it has final boss stats. <laughs> like, it is truly the top percentage of Tata. Nice dodge. There's Barrier putting in work. I never really bothered with Barrier before, but like... Keep in mind that it affects evasiveness, it really is busted. There we go. Oh, poor Splinter, are you okay? She's fine. We did it! We beat all the little monsters, and the next time we're going to uh, take on some other last-minute challenges. I think there's uh, the incident at the lab to finish off, and that will resolve that the side quest, and I think that's the only other side quest that even has anything left to do in it. So once we do that, we can roll right into Area 8 and finish the game. So uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time with more Pokémon Hunter! Hope to see you then! Bye bye